What's up YouTube, Southern Comic Geek coming to you with another haul video. Got out, picked up a couple of pops uh, the other day, got some stuff in the mail from stuff I had ordered off Instagram and eBay, and if you are interested in what I was able to pick up, stay tuned for the video. Now before we get started and showing all this goodness, and we get carried away with ourselves, at least I do, go ahead and smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and if you haven't already, hit the bell notification so that when videos like this drop ever so randomly, you will be one of the first people to know and can make the conscious decision as to whether to watch it now or to watch it later, but as long as you watch it. Also, if you haven't already entered my 750 subscriber video, then go ahead and click the link uh, below for the 600 subscriber giveaway and the 750 subscriber announcement video which tells you how you can enter to win multiple times into a contest for the prize of X-Men 4 that's the first Scarlet Witch so you want to get in on that because we are fastly approaching that and you don't want to miss out I also announced uh, at the taping of this video the, or the releasing of this video rather the other day um, that we will be giving away something more if we hit the 700 subscriber mark before year's end so we only have a few days left and so share out the channel with your friends your family your enemies it don't really matter just go ahead and share the channel out and it would be appreciated and we can also give away some more stuff when that 750 subscriber mark is reached so uh, got some stuff in. I was on an Instagram uh, sh uh, thing for We Can Be Heroes. Elite Comics has done kind of this uh, remedy tour. Uh, he had done some stuff with them, and then now I see their stuff by themselves. And so I bought several things from them off and on again and just happened to notice that they were uh, selling some stuff. So I picked up a couple of goodies. Uh, first off, picked up Marvel Team Up, Spider-Man, and X-Men king size annual so this is the first time the new x-men team appears outside of the x-men comics uh, this is the uh, a dave cockrum cover and uh, so this is 1976 so they had not long been the new team after the giant size x-men and then x-men 94 and so here they are outside of their title then we got star wars 107 uh, this is the final issue of the original Marvel's run. And uh, the interesting thing about uh, this, of course, Marvel, when they re started uh, picking back up the Star Wars title, did a legacy number, and there is a 108, but for all intents and purposes, this is the last issue. And uh, it's kind of weird. As wonky as it got towards uh, the first, the start of it, where you introduced characters that weren't even in the mythos like Jackson and others uh, it kind of got more in line and then it went off the rails with this I mean check out this issue right here I mean who is this guy I mean I mean did he just photobomb them or something I mean is he even supposed to be there he just kind of photobombed them uh, Luke hardly looks like the amazing Jedi that he is Chewbacca and uh, um, Lando look like they got something going on. I, I don't know what what's that all about. Um, and so, and C three PO looks like he did uh, in the in the last uh, movie with the evil eyes there. So kind of weird, kind of weird, kind of weird. Um, but then I also picked up from them uh, Empire Strikes Back the magazine so I already had a copy of this but they had several copies and this was the cheapest of them so I wanted to pick that up but this is actually the first appearance of Boba Fett um, it is not in comic form and so a lot of uh, collectors don't really go there but as far as people that are into the Star Wars mythos uh, this is right up their alley because it's a Boba Fett appearance especially now that the whole Mandalorian things going on certainly more into that I also uh, picked up in the mail 
uh, one of the t the Valiant Validated series. Now, people are going to look at that and go, oh, it's a Turek win. What's the big deal? Okay, so this is a little bit different because this is actually the Valiant Validated series uh, that they did. Uh, they did several of the issues. They weren't all number ones. Um, and they're varying um, amounts. So like this one was limited to 5,500, which today for us in our world and publishing uh, and printings the way they are is an awful lot. That was not an awful lot back then. So, you know, if uh, we'll take, for example, the John Tyler Christopher negative variants. The latest one Star Wars did was 4,000, uh, and that's not very many. But many uh, special uh, covers and stuff only get like 250. Uh, but yeah, so this was a, a, a low number back when this was released because there were a bunch of these things sold. Uh, but this is signed by Bart Sears and Randy Elliott. And so uh, pretty cool there. And uh, as a Valiant collector, trying to get all of these, I think this is either the second or the third one I have. Uh, some are... A little harder to get than others some are like what you would consider a ghost uh, meaning they just don't come up that often uh, so just kind of picking them up here and there to add them to the PC so went to uh, GameStop the other day and GameStop seems to be fastly becoming the hobby stop as opposed to the um, games uh, but reasoning it means uh, makes plenty of sense that they're trying to pivot to stay alive and relevant uh, is that as these games are being downloaded people are going to be visiting the store less and less so they are pushing more of their stuff to online maybe that's their kind of kind of pivot that you can kind of be the facilitator for that stuff i don't know but on occasion they get some good pops they get some good action figures in and so i just wanted to peruse if you will and um, i picked up the Optimus Prime um, pop the other day when I was in Shreveport and so um, decided to pick up the Megatron Megatron um, so yeah this is uh, got some of the main uh, figures in this little series and so Megatron being the big baddie thought he would be perfect to go against uh, Optimus uh, you know it's always uh, between those two and I've been passing up this guy for a while now, but I was in the Transformers mood, I guess, having picked up the other two. So I got this one that's uh, only at GameStop uh, and Soundwave. So Soundwave is so cool. I'm surprised they haven't really kind of retconned Soundwave because of his uh, tape player. Obviously, tapes are not really relevant anymore. I'm surprised they hadn't changed into more of a CD uh, or some other kind of flash drive or something maybe. But uh, they've kept the uh, tape player and the little people to come out of it. As a kid, I never was uh, fortunate enough to have the Soundwave or the company Autobot. can't remember the Autobot's name that was like Soundwave. Um, leave a comment down below if you know his name. But uh, I never was able to get a hold of one of those when I was a kid. And in the spirit of Star Wars and the Mandalorian, I got the Death Watch Mandalorian Two Stripes. Now, I put these in, you know, thing to keep up with which pops that I have. Uh, it was something that somebody in the pop community had recommended to me as a way to kind of gauge what pops are worth, and if I was paying a good, if I was getting a good deal for them to keep up with the ones that I have, that kind of thing. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Although they are. Uh, fastly multiplying they aren't multiplying quite as quickly as my comics and so um, it's pretty easy right now to remember which ones I have and which ones I don't have but like comics there are little nuances uh, that can make pops more expensive or more coveted than what uh, another pop was even though they look quite the same now this one has two stripes it even says two stripes well when I was keying it in the one with uh, no stripes actually I don't know if it was intended to be this way or if it was uh, an error but um, anyway the one with no stripes is actually worth more uh, so they have several the Mandalorian the covert uh, Mandalorian the incinerator stormtrooper there's a couple more that I would like to add to the mix um, but um, I wanted to get the Ahsoka um, 
but the one that they had didn't have the lightsabers out. I wanted to get the one with the lightsabers out. They had one at the um, comic shop that I went to that I got the Ray Park signatures from the other day, uh, but I didn't want to get out of line, and I was quick to exit there, so I said I'd pick it up another day. The other interesting thing to this is, and uh, is this, this is an EB exclusive. Notice the Canadian thing. I believe, so EB games, uh, at some point or another and GameStop became the same thing. I think they were com competitors at one time because I always remember having both of them in the mall. Uh, but uh, leave a comment down below if you want to add some flavor to that history there because I'm always interested in that. But uh, EB Games, I believe, still exist in Canada. So I don't know if when they were shipping these to one store versus another store, if they inadvertently uh, put the wrong sticker on there. Uh, or this pop was supposed to be down here. Uh, for some of you who might be watching my channel, maybe for the first time, I do appreciate it, but even if it's not the first time, if you're more uh, involved in knowing about the nuances of that with pops, uh, certainly feel free to comment down below, not only for my sake, because I read all the comments, but also for the sake of those others that might be watching and things that make them go, hmm. So, uh, that is all that I got, and so about it. This is Christmas Day at the time of this taping, and so I'm hoping everyone has a Merry Christmas. By the time you see this, it'll be after Christmas. I don't know if all of your wives are like mine and likes to take down the uh, Christmas tree the day of or the day after uh, Christmas because she puts it up so early. So I'm sure that's what'll fill my Saturday up. Uh, but in the meantime, hopefully everybody has had a safe Christmas. Um, and is everybody looking forward to the new year, new things, new collecting goals, new life goals, so on and so forth. So until next time, keep reading and keep collecting. Adios.